19 past 8 hours in breakfast. Michael Christian, Mick McGuan with you until 8.30. Then Shane Anderson along with Racing Ahead. Carlton are in the NAB Cup Grand Final tomorrow night at Etihad Stadium, which is a controversy all by itself against the Brisbane Lions. And one man will be front and centre is Nick Digan for the Blues. Nick, uh, good morning and uh, it's going to be a big game, mate. Yeah, morning. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Tell us about uh, Mick Malthouse. Uh, he's been, in some respects, very hands-on over the pre-season, which is not necessarily the custom, but he's at the new club. Tell us about your impressions and uh, how you've fared underneath, under Mick uh, Malthouse. Uh, my impressions, first of all, in the first three months, are probably the intensity and passion. I mean, he's um, he is non- non-stop all the time. Like he's he's super excited about the role. Um, and is always 100 miles an hour. So um, we're just trying to keep up with him at the moment. And, um, yeah, just uh, he, he's obviously, as you'd know from his previous coaching, it's all about defence. So we've we've had a pre-season really focused heavily on defence. And I think the other important factor too, Nick, is a lot of people underestimate the compassion and the care that he's got for his players. Yeah, absolutely. Um I think in uh, previously watching him do press conferences as a coach for other clubs, he would come across as, you know, pretty fiery in press conferences at times, but you always know that he would defend his players to a hilt. And, um, you know, that, that's evident again. Um, so he's a really caring coach and, and he's um, implemented the staff around him that are exactly the same as that. Rob Wiley's come across as well from his days at West Coast. Um, and Rob, Rob's a really caring and compassionate kind of guy as well. And uh, that's sort of permeated through the rest of the assistant coaches and through the club as a whole. Nick, uh, obviously your name was bandied around as being a potential captain of the club. We heard yesterday that Mark Murphy is that person. Did you ever at any stage think you were a realistic chance to be the skipper of Carlton? No, I didn't think I was a realistic chance at all. I was I was really, um, I suppose, honoured and, and glad to be um, voted in a part of the leadership group. Um, and I think in terms of where I've come from as a player and, and where I'm at in my playing career, um, a part of the leadership group was really, you know, as, as far as my aspirations went, um, the, the three guys that were really at the forefront, the, the three candidates there in Carato, Simpson and Murphy, would all have done a fantastic job if any one of them had been voted captain. And as far as I can understand, it was a bit of a line ball decision. Um, but Murph just got the nod, so I'm sure he'll do a great job. You had a great year, first year over here, Nick, uh, in 2011, but then uh, had a few issues last year with losing your spot in the team. Yep. From your perspective, has this been a, a bit of a fr- breath of fresh air with a, a chance to prove things to a new coach? Yeah, I think, yeah, personally it has been for me. I've got over a few injuries as well, but I think um, it's just as much a, a fresh slate for me as it is for everybody on the list. And um, Nick's record of creating... Premiership players out of rookie listed players and um, stars out of fringe players means that he walks into the club and now all of a sudden 45 people think they're going to be the next potential Brownlow medalist under Nick Malthouse. So it means that your, your last 10 picked players are all working that much harder to try and learn the most from Nick and um, all those above them are thinking they've got to improve otherwise the people below are going to nick their spot. So... It's, it's good competition at the moment. Nick, you're a great story. You come over here late to the AFL. Did you always dream about that becoming a reality? Uh, to be honest, not really. I, um, Yeah, I at the age of probably 19, I figured that it would pass me, 19 or 20. I, you know, in those years, um, not too many people above sort of 19 years old were getting picked up each year. So I had largely um, forgotten about it and was just playing... Um, playing with my SFL club because I loved it there and was getting on with the business of, you know, study and, and work and that kind of stuff. What about position? We've seen you go forward and impact the game. Will we see you forward at all this year or think you'll be a part of the back six formation? Uh, I'm pretty confident that I'd largely be a part of the back six. Um, the mix uh, really been focused on um, creating a bit more flexibility in everyone's role, so he wants everyone to be able to play at least two positions, probably three, so that they can um, add more flexibility to the team as a whole and have plenty of people to go through the midfield. So, um, yeah, I mean, if if required, um, I'd love to get up forward every now and then, but uh, primarily my role would be as a, as a defender. 
I'll sneak up and kick a couple of goals tomorrow night, yeah. mate. That, that's the go. That'll uh, that'll get you up there. Uh, yeah. Good luck. It's going to be a big game. Uh, we wish you all the best uh, in that NAB Cup Grand Final. No worries. Thanks very much. Good on you. Nick Digan joining us from the Blues. And a big game. It's on seven, mate. Uh, for those that haven't got paid television tomorrow night, the Grand Final between Carlton and Brisbane.